Hello, welcome to Relaxed Mel. I've got a question for you. Are you a liar? Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mel. Alright, so I am still running around here just doing, uh, taking little shots around uh, the uh, Route 66 uh, National Museum and uh, just enjoying the uh, a beautiful day here in late, uh, in late fall in uh, western Oklahoma in beautiful out, uh, outside Elk City. <laughs> I am outside in Elk City. So anyhow, uh, and dodging wasps. Holy smokes, there's a lot of wasp around here. What the heck? So anyhow, today, let's talk about the question I just asked you. Uh, and that is, are you a liar? Something tells me there's a good chance you have lied. Now, I don't mean just the, you know, telling your wife that she doesn't look fat in that dress. Um, I'm talking about... I'm not even talking about you telling lies and fibs to other people. You are, you do sadly tell lies and they're to the person who matters the most in your universe. That person being you. Yeah. You right there. That, and how do you, you're like, no, I don't tell lies. To lies. I pride myself in, in, in honesty. And I was like, no, okay. I do, I try to also, but there's a point where you do sadly tell yourself a lot of lies and that is in the means of excuses you make excuses for a lot of a lot of reasons why you don't do stuff and that's what it usually amounts to is like well the reason why I didn't get this done is because I didn't have enough time well that's not entirely true look at anybody you've got the same number of hours in a, in a day as Warren Buffett you have the same number of hours in the day as anybody the person the the immigrant who comes over and builds their life from nothing to you know to the person who doesn't make any uh, anything of themselves you have the same number of hours in a day there's 24 hours in a day 168 uh, I think that's right 168 hours I believe in uh, in a uh, in a week yeah 168 I believe if I'm doing the math in my head right which is I'm too good looking for math so who knows but anyhow, we all have the same number of hours in a day. So how does one person make it while another doesn't? And the answer is actually excuses. Uh, we make a lot of excuses as to what... Uh, we make a lot of excuses as to why we fail at stuff. Um, and the reason why we make these excuses is not because we are our pathological liars or anything we say that we tell these ourselves these these tales these lies these ex give ourselves these excuses as a means to soften the blow that we have let ourselves down and the but the biggest reason why we end up lying is because we're even uncomfortable with the fact that we didn't do what we said we were going to do. We lied to ourselves. We said, ah, I'm going to lose 50 pounds this year. Well, I didn't make that 50 pounds because somehow these these uh, these donuts just kept flying into my mouth. I, it's not my fault, you know. You have these different excuses, and that's all that they are. You can, every time you make an excuse, it's, it's you avoiding the real reason as to why you didn't succeed. Now, you can, if you you can change that, but you have to be, when you catch yourself in an excuse of, well, I, I didn't have enough time to, to get a, a blog post written. Wrong, you, you made a choice. You had the, you made the choice to do something other than write a blog post. So correct yourself, I, I didn't know, no, I did have the time. I chose not to have, take the time. So if you can make the time, you can take the time, you can, all that time is available for you to disseminate. Do you want to sleep or do you want to, to achieve a goal? 
you can find a happy balance in there. In all in all reality, you can. You can actually decide. You know what? I am got. I've got my eight hours of sleep. I'm just going to have to cut down on instead of instead of watching, you know, all, the, all of Game of Thrones for the fifth time this year. I'm going to have to. I've decided. I'm going to take Game of Thrones and set it off to the side, delay that type of gratif gratification, and apply all that time to something to, to, to the goal that I want. I want this particular goal now so that later on I can watch Game of Thrones whenever I want. Of course by that time I bet you you're going to find out that you know Game of Thrones all right you watched it once you watched it twice you watched it three times somewhere along the way Brandon Stork still becomes the uh, the ruler. Oh I'm sorry I, I just spoilers. So because we have this avoidance of discomfort we have this. Uh, we this is where these these desires for uh, to to not tell a lie or de desires to tell ourselves lies come from. We don't want to. We don't want to 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 say, "Hey, I'm can't," because you know darn good and well you can. It's a lot easier to say it's not easy. You don't understand. Come up with all these other reasons as to why you are experiencing this cognitive dissonance. Uh, it's you don't understand what I'm going through. Uh, your my anxiety is too high. You know you have a thousand different excuses as to why not. You only have the one reason as to why you can. The choice of whether or not that is strong, uh, is powerful enough or not to get you moving is entirely contingent upon you. That's what a lot of what relaxed Mel is about. It's about uh, taking that responsibility. You have to have. The responsibility to know that you're going to go out now if you have a problem of knowing that you you can't uh, you're, you're you well you can but you have a problem of actually being motivated then maybe you actually want to find a, a an accountability partner maybe a mastermind uh, like uh, like relaxmail.com forward slash conclave that is uh, the Conclave of Man. That's our the uh, relaxed male mastermind group, a group of men who we help each other to become better. So if maybe you need something, some type of accountability, you don't even have to use the Conclave of Men. You could actually just go out and find yourself two or three of your good friends and go, hey dudes, you're going to hold my butt accountable as because I have got to get this done. And I want to make sure that you hound me to make sure this is done. And so it gives you a chance to, as long as you don't have, uh, as long as you have the, the wherewithal to feel bad when you let a friend down, then this will work. If you don't, if you don't care whether you let a friend down or not, then you know that's not going to be a pro It's not going to do you any good. You have to learn to avoid these types of excuses. And some people, you know, they like to use the like to use well I'm just lazy that's just how I am well again that's an excuse dude you can change any way you want so if you really want to change you want to become a better person then change become that better person as a matter of fact come along you join you can change anytime you want I offer a couple different services that will actually help you with your desire to change. Like I mentioned before, the Conclave of Men. I also offer coaching services. And then I've got a live event over at relaxmail.com slash live event that will help you make the steps to, to actually get rid of that excuse. We will take any excuse you have as to why you can't do X, Y, and or Z. And you're gonna, and I'll take it, and we'll mash it down. We'll crumple it up. We're gonna throw it into the to the campfire, watch it turn to, turn to ash, and we will celebrate that winning when it uh, when it happens. So, I'm gonna go, let you go. I thank you for watching. Sign up for uh, for one of the uh, services if you want to have get the help you want need to uh, to overcome the excuses that you keep telling yourself. So stop lying to yourself and get up. Get out there and start making the successes you want. I'm Brian Goodwin with Relaxed Mail, and I thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. See you next week.